Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Indian Mathematical Olympiad 2014, problem number 2. We want to prove that floor of n over 1 plus floor of n over 2 and so on plus floor of n over n minus 1 plus floor of n over n plus floor of square root of n is even for all positive integers n. It's a nice problem involving sums. Here are my hints. My hints, my reasoning, will be based on the following four lemmata. First lemma says that if d and n are positive integers, then there are exactly floor of n over d uh, integers divisible by d in this interval from 1 to n. It's my first lemma. Second lemma. For every positive integer n, then there are exactly floor of square root of n perfect squares in the interval from 1 to n. Third lemma, it's all about, it's about uh, one of the well-known arithmetic functions, d of k. Let d of k be the number of pos positive divisors of some positive integer k. Then we have the following equality. Sum going from k equals 1 to n of dk equals sum going from j equals 1 to n of n over j floor of it for every positive integer n. So if d, this stands for how many divisors number k have, if we sum all these numbers, we get another sum involving floors. And finally, for flemma, the number of divide, positive divisors of n is odd if and only if n is a perfect square. So I will prove this for lemmata and my our solution of our problem will flow from there. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so let's go lemma by lemma. Let's start with lemma number one. We wish to prove that. Proof. It's a well-known fact. You probably know it, but if you don't, here's proof. So every number n can be written as uh, d times some quotient plus some remainder, where q is some natural number and r is a remainder, 0, 1, uh, and d minus 1. Okay, and now let's group our numbers from 1 to n in the following groups. First group is from 1, 2, 3, and so on, uh, up to d minus 1. Uh, second group is uh, d, d plus 1, or maybe, you know what, no, 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 let's put d right here. Then we have d plus 1, d plus 2, d plus 3, and so on. 2d minus 1, 2d. Let's write another group. 2d plus 1, 2d plus 2, 2d plus 3, 3d minus 1, 3d, and so on. This list will continue. At the end of this list will be uh, the last number right here will be q times d, so here we have q minus 1, d plus 1. You know what, maybe let's write it a bit spaced to have, to make it better visible. q minus 1, d plus 1, q minus 1, d plus 2, q minus 1, d plus 3, and so on and so on. QD and the last group will be actually QD uh, plus 1, Q times D plus 2, and so on. And somewhere we'll have Q, Q, D plus R, which is actually N. It will be somewhere, but it will not be here. It will be somewhere in some other place. And now let's see how many numbers are divisible by D. Uh, well, that many numbers, q in total, q numbers. These numbers and only these numbers are divisible by 
D. And notice that what is Q? Q is, Q is exactly Q is exactly the floor of n over d. It's exactly the floor of n over d. So that closes the proof of our first lemma. Second lemma. Uh, second lemma. Let's see. Let's make some space. Second lemma. We wish to show that there are exactly floor of square root of n perfect squares in the interval from 1 to n. It should be also rather obvious proof. Proof of this second lemma. Let's write let's write that n equals m squared plus r, but this time where m is a natural number. Uh, a positive number and r is between 0 and 2m. Why that? Well, I choose it in such a way so that square root of n equals m because every number can be written uniquely as a square plus a little bit more. And we go up to 2m because if we have 2m plus 1, notice that m squared plus 2m plus 1 is just another square. So we can have another square plus another remainder. Okay, and now how many how many numbers are perfect squares less than or equal this number? Well, perfect squares are one squared, two squared, three squared, and so on. The greatest number not exceeding this is m squared. M numbers in total. M numbers in total. M numbers in total, yes? But notice that M is exactly floor of square root of N. And that closes the proof of our second lemma. Third lemma, probably the most complicated one. Let's make some space because we will need it. A little bit lower. Perfect. Lemma number three about this D function, well-known arithmetic function. Okay, so let's take our, let's write that we are proving our lemma, proof. Let's take our, our sum on the left-hand side. We have the following. Sum, which goes from k equals 1 to n of D of k. So we are summing, here we are summing how many divisors k has. So we are summing over all numbers between 1 and n, which are actually divisors of k, which are divisors of k, yes? Because every divisor of, uh, of k is between, sorry, between 1 and k. We can, you know what, we can go up to n because if j is n, uh, then just the second condition will not be satisfied. So we can go up to n. Okay, and now, crucially, I can change the order of the summation. So first, I can sum from 1 to n over j, and then I will sum over k from 1 to n, but only over this case, which are divisible by j. So I put this condition to my other sum. And we are summing just once. Okay, but this sum, it says how many numbers are divisible by j in the interval from 1 to n. So, maybe let's write it verbally. Sum, as j goes from 1 to n, and here are summing number, number of integers in 
the interval 1 n, 1 k rather, 1, no, 1 n, 1 n, which are divisible by, divisible by j. And by lemma number 1, by lemma number 1, we know that this number is exactly floor of n over j. It's floor of n over j. And that closes the proof of our second lemma, or our third lemma. And finally, the fourth lemma, the last one. Uh, so if d of n is odd, if and only if n is a perfect square. Proof is rather obvious. Uh, well, mm, why is that? Well, notice that if n is a perfect square, if n is a perfect square, or maybe if n is not a perfect square, let's start with, with that. Perfect square, then for every divisor, for every d positive number d, which divides n, well, d is not equal n over d. Yes, because it's not a perfect square. But notice that that and that, there are both divisors. So divisors of our number com come in pairs. Yes, divisors, divisors of n come in pairs, in pairs, d and n over d. So we have an even number of such divisors. So, 2 divides d of n. And what happens if n is not a perfect square? Well, if n is not a perfect square, if it's not a perfect square, then our divisors divisors uh, come once again, come in pairs, come in pairs, d, n over d, apart from 1, apart from square root of d. So let's write it apart from, apart from square root of n, which is an integer in this case. It has no pair, so it's 1, mm, 1, outlier. So we have an odd number of, of positive divisors. And that closes the proof of my fourth and last lemma. And now we are ready to prove our theorem. But first I need a new page. Okay, so let's prove our actual theorem. Remember that we, wa we wish to show that this sum, n over 1, n over 2, and so on, plus n over n, plus floor of square root of n, we wish to show that this number is actually even. Notice the following. By lemma number 3, by lemma number 3, by lemma number three, this sum right here, it can be written in other way. It's d of one plus d of two, d of three, and so on, plus d of n, plus the last is left as it is. And now, by notice that we can now go to congruence, modulo 2, and notice that which numbers from this list are even? Well, almost every, apart from squares, apart from squares. 
So that by lemma number four, actually, by lemma number four, that is congruent to d of one because it's the only uh, the only odd uh, the only odd numbers in this list are d of one, d of four, d of nine, and so on. What's the last d to be considered? Well, the last uh, the last perfect square is this number. By lemma, by how do I know that? It's by lemma number four. By lemma number four. So that's that is exactly by lemma number four. And moreover, it's also by lemma number two. The last square is that by lemma number two. Maybe let's write it that that is by lemmata by lemmata number two and four exactly. And finally we have well square root of floor of square root of n. We are talking about congruence modulo two of course. Okay. Uh, and now, every term of this form is congruent to 1. And how many numbers do we have on this list? Well, we have exactly floor of n, square root of n numbers in total terms. So it's congruent to square root of n, floor of square root of n, plus floor of square root of n modulo 2 and this number is obviously even because we have two same numbers so it's congruent to 0 modulo 2 i.e. i.e. 2 indeed divides n over 1 floor of n over 1 floor of n over 2 floor of n over n plus Law of square root of n. And that closes our proof. So as we have seen, the majority of my reasoning was dedicated to proving my four lemmata. And that is it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.